Today we're doing an experiment. It's really exciting. But before I tell you this, I gotta tell you, I got a cool video coming up. I'm competing with another YouTuber. His name is Mike. He does a uh, video channel called Everyday Barbecue. Me and him are gonna be doing a pulled pork competition. And in this competition, we're gonna cook a pulled pork. We're gonna both smoke our pulled porks. We both have the, uh, the same type of smoker, so there's no problem with that. Except we have to use two ingredients on the pulled pork that you don't normally see used on pulled pork. It's great. That episode's coming up. Be looking for that. Uh, once again, it's my buddy Mike at Everyday Barbecue. You can say hi to him now, but wait until we do the competition. It's going to get exciting. You're really going to get to know this guy. He's a great guy on YouTube. And I'm just giving him a quick little shout out until our competition video. But in the meantime, today's experiment is going to be the the famous defrosting trays. This is what this one looks like. It's a sheet of aluminum, it's got ridges. There's different ones, there's some cast iron ones and metal ones and, and it's, most of them have like ridges or grooves and you set your meat on it and defrost faster. Uh, they're saying three to five times faster than regular counter defrosting. So I have four steaks, we're gonna do a test. We're gonna put four steaks on different surfaces just to see how they do. All right, you ready? Let's do this. Okay, so as you can see, I have four steaks here of equal size. They're frozen solid. All right, this is a pot of water like you would in the sink, like you do with turkey meat in the sink, a pot of water. So let's put the steak in this Ziploc. There we go. So this water is room temperature. It's kind of tepid. It's not too hot. It's not cold, it's just kind of room temperature. We're gonna put it in there and we're leaving the ice and everything on it. We're just gonna put it right on, right on this plate. That represents the counter. This one is just a regular cookie sheet and this one is the defrosting tray. It, exact, it is exactly 136. So you have four different conditions here. We're gonna test this out I'm gonna check back every hour, we're gonna take a look. Okay, Google, start me a timer for one hour. All right, one hour, starting now. It's been one hour and these steaks laying out, still got ice on them. This still has the ice on it. Let's flip it over. And there you go, still rock solid. Same thing with this one, let's flip it over. Looks like it's getting the same type of treatment as that one. And now the one on the plate, which is our countertop one. The ice is gone. It's got a few soft spots. Interesting. And the one in the water, interesting enough, I, this was a last minute decision is to do the one in the water. But this one is really soft already in one hour. That water was only about 70 degrees. In fact, it was. It was exactly 70 degrees. And this thing is got tons of softness to it. Look, oh my gosh, I could squish the edges. This is about, I would say about 70% defrosted. Let's take a look at this one. All right, well, this is about 50%. There's still an ice patch right here, right down the middle here. About half this steak is defrosted. Okay, this is interesting. This is about, I'd say 50% defrosted too. This one and the cookie sheet are at 50% defrosted. This is totally defrosted. 100% very soft, very tender in my hand. I don't wanna squeeze it because it'll deform the steak. It is beautiful. It's ready to go right on the grill right now. All right, I'm gonna call it. In water is the fastest way. That's why we do our turkeys on Thanksgiving. If they're frozen, you throw them in just room temperature water and it pulls all the coldness out. That thing defrosted faster than any of the other steaks. The defrosting tray, that is a little faster than just leaving it on the counter. Not a lot. Like it had 30% more to defrost and on the counter it had 50% more to defrost. I don't believe it's three to five times faster than just leaving it out on the counter. But why buy a defrosting tray? Get a pot of water, get a Ziploc bag, put your meat in there, or if it's already wrapped, if it's already in a package in the store, just drop it in 
room temperature water. Not hot, not cold, just kind of right in the middle. All right, that's it. So if you wanted a frosting tray, I have a link down below if you still want to try this out. But I've kind of disproven that whole myth of how great it is, okay? There you go. I love doing experiments. More videos on the way. I'll see you on the next episode.